What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Party. Yeah, I'm up in this spot. Okay, it's going to be no editing because one thing I know about y'all, y'all don't care about my editing. It's about what what we delivering, the message we delivering. Today, we're going to drop in some winter driving tips. Winter just started. You know what I'm saying? I want all y'all to be safe. You know what I mean? And, and productive out here. So I'm just gonna throw a couple tips, couple things that have helped me, you know, along the way, and they might help you. Right, and I want to say shout out to Aniana. I might have tore up her name. Aniana, she 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 started calling me when she was getting ready to go to truck driving school, and when she's going through, got a CDL and all that, like some of y'all do. But she still tap in and check in with the old head every now and then. I wish I could figure out who were the people like her, and who were the people like the rest of you. You get what you want, and then they never hear from you again. Because I would eliminate you and focus on my time and NGO on those people. They always check back in, hey, PA, just see what's going on. Let me know how they doing and all that. So the rest of you who you called and aggravated me, asked me a million questions, and then you got your stuff, and we don't hear from you no more. Real talk. Don't, and don't, when you get in some shit, don't call me either. Your help is done. Because when you got what you needed, you got on up out of here, okay? So your help is done. So on the other, she called me, and she taps in. And I'm talking to her today, and she she out there, and it's ice on the road. Now, people, first thing with ice, there's no professional trick to driving on ice. There just, there is nothing. Ice is ice. Best thing you can do is professional driving. Me, myself, 25, 30 miles an hour, sometimes 20 miles an hour. Between 20 and 30 miles an hour. And that's me, myself. Some people may want to say more. Some people may want to dispute. This is just me, what I'm giving you. Not saying this is the law and land. Just a couple things that have helped me along, okay? So the criticism and all that. Other people want to try to say what they know. And they super trucking in my comments. I don't give a f okay? All right, now sometimes, you know, you, I don't know. If you, I'm, this is just for new drivers. You already know in the wintertime, you know, you have problem with line stuff freezing up. So you never want to set your trailer brakes in the wintertime. Keep them for freezing up. You want to keep some alcohol on. You always want to have some uh, some waterproof gloves. You're going to need some good, durable waterproof gloves. Probably maybe you might want to have them boots waterproof too. You know what I'm saying? Because in a situation where you got to get out here and throw change, you might, you know, a lot of companies will tell you they go set you guys up and tell you that, uh, yeah, you, you don't got to throw chains, but there's places if they send you in there, if you don't throw the chains you, you, and get over the pass, you're going to be back there till summertime. So you have no choice but to throw the chains. But this is what they want to tell you as a new driver. They're not going to tell you that. You say, oh, yeah, we want you to pull over and not throw chains. Well, if they send you to the wrong place, it don't matter what you're going to do. You're going to throw chains a certain part of the year. There's no way around that. That's just how it flows. I'm, I'm from the East Coast, and uh, you got to be mindful that whatever part of the country you're from, the weather is different different climate patterns, different things going on in, in different places of the country, and it might not be like where you're from. Now, um, when I went to California, I never knew it snowed in California. I never knew it snowed, snowed in California. I'm from the East Coast. I'm not from over there. You see what I'm saying? So I never knew it snowed in California, but it snows like a mother, okay? And it gets dangerous in California. Very dangerous. Tricky and treacherous, okay? My, I, my advice to you, you can do what you want to do. In the mountains, on the snow, and icy conditions, I, I don't run at night, okay? I, I try to do everything I can do with the daylight because the night it gets cold and the road ice is over. So you really want to be away from that and take your chance at least as possible with that. So I'm just, my advice to you, I would just try to run with the daylight hours as permitting. If you got to run a little into the night or start a little early in the morning, get that in as opposed to having to do most or half over your shift in the dark. Because the mountains and the ice and all that is, 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 is crazy. I mean, to each his own. I know some super truckers going to come in here and talk about how super good they are, but we don't give them. Okay, once again, I have to reiterate that because it's aggravating. Bro, please stop. Self come on, yo. Okay. Your showing says tomatoes. It should be product sensitive. Okay, Prime. Hold on, y'all. Let me do something for Prime. throw the chains you know I tell you, you might not have to use them it's, it's just best to know how to throw those chains uh like i said the waterproof gloves it's a million different things we could talk about 
but the, the main thing is be cautious. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't do the nighttime in the mountains and icy, snowy conditions. I just don't do it. That's just not my thing. It's, I'm just not safe for with it. Uh, and when it's ice on the ground, yeah, I'll do 25, 30 miles an hour. So I was talking about Ayana, right? And she's like, I'm doing 30 miles. She's like, people's passing me and stuff. She's like, it's my first time on ice. I'm not going to go fast. I listen, it don't even matter. i tell you the truth, I take it down about 25. Okay? I take it down about 25. So she get on the phone with me. She called me later on. She said, 20 minutes after you got on the phone with me, she had an accident. The four-wheeler did the foolishness, spun out in front of her. There was no way, no way she could avoid it, but nothing was her fault. Why? Because she was driving what she should have been driving for conditions. Okay, so you get out here and you, you don't obey conditions, you go get punished. Mother Nature is going to punish you. You may even lose your life. So it's best, it don't matter, man. Slow and steady wins the race. You know what I mean? It's not about how fast you're going, it's about making it there in one piece, okay? That's what you want to do at the end of the day, get the job done. Let's get that trouble transportation in there, man. It's one time for the game. It's still game. It's still game. It's still game. Trouble trans. Go! You know, somebody tried to buy the name of my company. Never, some things are not for sale, bro. I, I really don't care about like your offers, and and they keep they keep trying to do it. I would never sell Trumble Transportation, bro, over my dead, rotten, stinking corpse. Okay, but Aniana, she she made it out of that because she did everything she's supposed to do. And I'm gonna tell y'all this one more time: dash cam. You're gonna need a dash cam when the police stop you in this any type of accident. The first thing they ask for is your dash camera recording. So you're going to need to have that. All right? It's your boy party. All right? I get on down here in Maryland. I get all night running until about 4 in the morning. Y'all stay safe. Sucker free.